Right, good afternoon everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today we're working on the Mini, carrying on from the last video where we're doing the head gasket. Um, in the last video, if you watched it, you would have seen that I stripped down the whole engine, took the head off, and I now have the head sat on my workbench right here. I didn't want to carry on with the video because otherwise it's going to be really long. So I figured I'd cut the video where I did um, and we'd carry on on this one with inspecting, cleaning, all that stuff, um, and then ready to get it all back together. However, whilst I was in between these two videos, um, when I turned the camera off, I spotted something on the head that I think is going to stop me from using this head on the engine again. Let me just show you what I found. So I was just looking at this thing, um, I was checking to see if there was any cracks or anything that looked untoward. And bear in mind that this is the side where the chain sits right here. This right here is the cylinder where the coolant was actually getting into the engine. Now if you look closely, if I sort of just show you that picture right there, can you spot anything straight away? This coolant jacket right here, which is what they are, all these four things here and the two on the sides, this is where the coolant flows through the engine and cools the head down. Well this one right here, as you can see, has been completely eaten away and corroded to the point where right here, uh, let me just try and get the camera in, right there, it's impeding on where the head gasket is gonna sit. It seals around here and the corrosion has come this far over um, that it's impeding. And I think that that is how the coolant has been getting into the jacket. I'll just show you a good one. This is how it's supposed to look, as you can see. Um, all uniform, no dodgy edges. And you can see how far it is away from this uh, line here, the lines that go around the cylinder, that's where the gasket sits. Whereas on this side, it's been completely eaten away to the point where I don't think this head is gonna be usable. And it would make sense as well that it's around this cylinder um, and that's probably what is causing the coolant to enter this cylinder, like I said. And um, the rest don't look too bad. This one's not great either on the bottom. Right there, as you can see, it's been eaten away a little bit. Um, and the other ones don't look too bad. So it's just this side. I can't actually find my steel rule to check whether this is flat or not, so I haven't even checked that yet. Um, but straight away, that does not look good to me. So it looks as though I'm gonna be shopping for a new head um, because I don't really feel comfortable putting that on the car. Let me know down in the comments if you agree with me. Um, I don't know if I feel comfortable doing all this work, putting the new head gasket and all that stuff on, and then knowing that that's in there still um, doesn't sit quite right with me. So I'm gonna have to have a shop and see if I can source myself another head, which is another pain in the bum. And it's more money spent that I really didn't wanna spend, um, but I think it's definitely worth it. So just so I can double check, I'm going to use a scraper and just scrape all the crap and gunk that's on the bottom of this head. Um, I just have a better look around there, but I still don't think I'm going to end up using it. I just want to double check what it looks like under all this gunk and rubbish. Right, with it cleaned off, I think if anything, that's actually made my mind up to not use it even more. You can see those lines that go around the cylinder. Can you see those two sort of tram lines that go around? That sits like on the outer line. And if you see how far away it's supposed to be, there's probably about three or four mil between the coolant jacket on this side and the lines, whereas this one is sitting right on it. So it's eaten its way about three or four mil this way um, into the cylinder. So I'm definitely, definitely not using this and I'll, uh, I'll have a look on eBay and see if I can find another one. So I'm just out here making the most of my time and um, whilst I'm waiting for a head to come I figured I might as well clean up the block. Um, I've given all this a scrape, I used my famous scraper where is it? I use this on all three of the engines that I've done so far. It's a Nielsen scraper, uh, really good for getting all the carbon and gunk and get old gasket and all that stuff off. Um, I've done a pretty good job on the head itself as you can see. Um, I figured I'd go a step further and actually clean the pistons. This one I haven't touched yet. As you can see, it's covered in carbon and build-up and all sorts. Whereas this one on the end here has been cleaned and it's now pretty much crystal clean. One of the best things about doing a head gasket and stuff on one of these is you get the chance to clean out the engine, which is always nice. I'm in the middle of cleaning these two at the minute, but that one's pretty much done. I'm just trying to get this ready now for when the uh, head gasket and all that goes back on. Right, so in terms of cleaning the block and the pistons, I think that's probably about as good as I'm going to get it. You can see the pistons are all nice and shiny and clean now. You don't necessarily need to do that, but I always do it whilst I'm in here. I'm just kind of satisfying to see them all clean. Um, after, what, 100,000 miles, they've probably never been touched. This is now all ready. Uh, for when the head gasket goes on and the new head whenever we end up getting that so I'm going to leave that be for right now and so this video is going to take a slight turn um, this was meant to be like a head gasket replacement 
all of it going back on in this video is what I wanted to do but as you know because the head's damaged I've managed to source another one uh, but that's not going to be here until next week now because it's bank holiday so for the meantime I'm actually going to get some other stuff done the front bumper on this car as you know is broken so that needs replacing the driver's side wing also needs replacing and I've got one of them so I'm going to make use of my time and this absolutely glorious weather is so nice and hot today and um, perfect car working weather so I'm going to change out the front bumper and also get the driver's side wing changed out there's two less jobs to worry about so I may as well get them done I don't think there's an awful lot holding this bumper on. I think there's literally like a screw there, little Torx. I think there's a couple of screws here as well. Um, a bolt there. And then I think there's a couple underneath as well. And then it's the same on the other side. But this is the reason I'm changing it. You can see, all cracked. she is that's the old one turns out I didn't actually need to take those two screws out these ones they just hold the fog light in I didn't realize or the side light sorry it was literally held on by like two screws just these Torx ones right here I was just looking at this where I took it off and I think there's meant to be a mount right here um, it sort of bolts in there I don't know if you can even see it on the camera it should bolt in there and sort of come up and then the bumper bump bolts to that but there wasn't one this is what it's supposed to look like I think the other one will probably say LH for left hand but that's what the bracket should look like um, but there isn't one and this one is broken I'm going to order another two of these um, and I'm not going to put the bumper on yet until I get them so it's going to look like this for a little while well so that's two things that I've started that I'm not going to be able to finish today shall we try again shall we I've got some bits here in this box for the mini that I ordered uh, these lights I got when I bought the bumper these are just two new rear lights well they say they're new they're used but they're in pretty good condition they just need a bit of a polish and they'll come up a treat so I'll, I'll fit them as well because they're nice and easy they're just literally one bolt and they go in but the main thing in here is this which as you can see by the tag says drivers offside wing side a panel British racing green um, I managed to find this on eBay and it is a replacement direct bolt-in replacement no welding needed uh, for the one that we've got now I'll just show you why I'm replacing it. <clears throat> I have shown this before, but the driver's side one on this side has got a big old dent in it, as you can see. Uh, try and get a good angle. You can't really see it very well, but you can see how distorted it is. Um, it's like been hit, almost like it's been punched right in the middle. And there's a massive dent increase all the way down. Um, and this just bolts in apparently. You have to think you have to take that off you have to take the trim off or something a couple of screws and I think there's a bolt inside there and this whole thing will just pop off and we can stick the new one on so that should be nice and easy hopefully ta-da I didn't actually film any of taking this off um, but you can see the dent in it now how bad that is there you go the new one's right there I haven't put it on yet um, it was an absolute pain to get off there was one bolt there one bolt there on the inside which is a strange place to put it there was one here holding that on um, and there was one on the bottom a little torque screw of all things and then there was two screws right there um, holding it on but other than that it wasn't too bad it's just a little bit fiddly um, I'm gonna have to get some new clips as well because I broke that one right there and I think that one's broken as well I can't really tell but I'm gonna get some new clips for that anyway and I'm also gonna need to get a new piece of trim to go on that because I managed to break the other one taking it off which is typical for an older car I'll just quickly show you on the car what I've been doing I apologize for the lighting at the minute by the way the Sun is like right there and it's glaring down on me so I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to show you things but this is where it was um, that's where one of the bolts was just up there it sort of slots on um, there's one here and then one really awkwardly down here for some reason they used a Torx, don't know why, so I had to like pull the side skirt to the side to take that one off and then there was, I think there was one in here somewhere, yeah one just there as well, but that's it off, I'm going to go ahead and get the new one, stick it on, put all the bolts and stuff back on, I'm actually going to take this whole wheel liner off, there's only one more clip holding it on in there, so I'm going to take that last one off and just take this whole thing out just to make it easier. So this new panel 
here. I actually picked it up off eBay. I think I paid 15 pounds delivered. Um, and they're a proper mini breakers, I think. Kent spares, they're called. This one's in really good condition as well, which is nice. A couple of tiny, like, tiny, tiny scratches that will come out. Ta-da! You see there's a couple of minuscule scratches there, but I can get them out quite easily. There you go, I haven't screwed up a bolt with it on yet, but look how much better that looks. I've got a tiny scratch in the door there that I just want to uh, address at some point, but I'll machine polish that or something like that. Right, there you have it. That is the new panel on. It's not by no means perfect. There is a tiny little high spot. Some of you would have noticed it right there. And then it is scuffed a little bit around this edge, but I think that'll polish out. But it obviously looks way better than the other one did, so can't complain for 15 quid. I'll take it. Now, as I said, last job of the day. Oh, the sun's so bright. Goodness me. Right, last job of the day is going to be these rear lights. I've got them in the box right here. They should, I say should, be nice and easy to change. There's like one 10 mil bolt there and then two clips on the side you just have to do and they should just pop straight out. So I've just remembered something. I've taken the battery out of the car and the boot's locked. And it's an electric boot. Just as a little side note, it turns out I was able to use this piece of trim again. Um, I've salvaged the clips and stuff on the back and that's on there nice and tight. That's not going anywhere. That looks so much better, that does. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the battery and stick it back on the car because that's the only way that I'm going to be getting this boot open. I apologise for the lighting, it's so bad today. Um, that's the only way I'm going to get that boot open is if I stick the battery back on because it's like an electric button. And so I'm going to do that because it's a lot easier. I want to get these lights on. I'm determined. I don't know where I'm going to put it though because I've taken the tray out. Alright, so I've got the battery terminals on the battery. With any luck, I should be able to open the boot now. Whee, there we go. Right, we can get these lights out. I think you just have to take these panels off inside here to access the bolts and stuff. Only two hands. You can see it just there. You have to reach around to press the little uh, buttons and they should just pop straight out. I just took this door off this side so I could undo the nut for this light. I just found some goodies. Some head unit keys, I assume for a mini, and a spare brake slash indicator bulb just hidden in here. Is there anything else I can find? No, I think that's it. Right, that's that guy out. And <laughs> that right there is the reason why we're changing it. Can you see it in there? That is awful. It's sort of like a little swim pool in the bottom. It's got all mold and algae and all sorts of stuff. I don't know where it's leaking in. Somewhere at the top here, clearly. There you go. Oh, it's dripping all over me. Disgusting. Now, if I remember correctly, when I checked this car over, um, all the bulbs do work on the rear here, so I'm not gonna swap out any of the bulbs that are in the lights that I got, um, just in case any of them don't work. I'm just gonna reuse the ones that are in here um, and just use the actual lens itself and stick the lens on top of them, because I'm 100%, I went around all the lights and I'm like 99% sure all these ones work already, so no point in swapping them. Let's go ahead and stick these nice shiny ones in. So I guess while we've got the battery hooked up, it's probably worth just checking that all the lights work. So we'll just turn the side lights on and the hazards. Hazards work, side lights work, and I'm just going to assume the brake lights work as well, I guess. There's not really any way of me checking on my own. Right, I'm going to go ahead and just stick the two 10mm bolts in there, um, get everything buttoned up and then I'll bring you back in. I've stuck all the uh, spare bulbs from the lights that I got in there, just in case they're ever needed. They are right there, tucked away in the little cubby hole. Right, so the lights are now in. They're all finished. I'm happy with them. This video did not turn out 
the way that I intended it to. And like I said, this was meant to be sort of putting the engine back together video, but because of the damage to the head, um, I need to source a new one. And so I did some other bits instead. Uh, the front bumper will be going on as soon as I get the brackets for it. The side panel is now fixed, so there's no longer a dent in that, which I'm happy about. Got the new lights in um, and the block is actually all ready why is there so many animals out here? The block is ready um, to take the new head gasket and the new head whenever that arrives. So this is gonna go live on Friday, but obviously it's bank holiday weekend, so delivery on stuff is gonna be um, delayed. So I probably won't be able to get ahead until Wednesday. Um, I have arranged one, so I've got one on the way, um, but that probably won't be here until mid next week, I would have thought, and then obviously I'll get crack and putting that back together. It should only take a day to get it all back together and get the engine running. So hopefully by the end of next week, this car will be running and driving and all that stuff. Um, now that I've done these little bits today, there's not really that much left to do once the engine's finished. It needs an exhaust, which I've got a brand new one of, because uh, this one wobbles and blows and stuff. So that's gonna be put back on, but apart from that, the car's looking pretty good. I think it needs a couple of tires as well, which I'll sort at a later date. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, even though it's not what it was supposed to be. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know if you're enjoying the mini content so far as well. And the views seem to be pretty good on it, and everyone seems to be enjoying it. So, so that's all good. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one.